Hello guys, you've probably guessed by the description and the picture. I'm going to try something I've never done before, which a lot of people have suggested is, Dan, why don't you not ever offer any of your vehicles to um, the viewers? Well, as I've already mentioned, on it'll be going out probably tomorrow or maybe tonight at the end of last week's vlog, I've acquired a nice Mondeo Z-Tech diesel 02 pl 52 plate. I bought this vehicle about 10 years ago from an old gentleman with only 50,000 mile on. It's an absolutely cracking vehicle. Um, I've agreed to buy it back off the guy who's owned it since, one of my customers, so I've worked on it. Um, but he does a lot of cruise work, like, like he's a, he was a member of a band on a cruise ship, so it sits for like months and months and months, and he's like, I'm away for eight months after the new year, uh, basically I need to get rid of it because it's costing him money to keep a tax to park on the road, insurance, uh, and he's like, I'm going to put money away over the next eight months, and when I get back, I'll come and see you, and we'll go and find a decent car. So he says, what do you think we should do with the Mondeo? And I says, to be honest, mate, I'll just have it back. Um, so I'm going to buy it back off him. It's due MOT, so it'll be MOT'd. There's a little bit of work needs done to it. Um, one of the sills had filled with water while it's been standing. There's two little patches that need done on it, but don't let that put you off because I'll show you underneath. This is a one-off for an O2 plate Mondeo. It is absolutely mint. It's even still got the under trays on. Front subframes like new, because obviously I've coated it when he's had it and when I had it back subframes like new most of the bottoms of the doors rot out on these and they're actually okay a uh, few little tiny bits on them just starting but like really really good for 2002 it's a very 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 early tdci i'm sure the injectors were done on it um it's a weird one actually it's got the egr at the back of the engine which is really rare for these but yet it's a tdci and it's the 130 brake so again cheap tax 200 quid over 300 pound 330 pound for the petrols 130 so it's got loads of torque loads of power usable vehicle loads of miles per gallon very tidy and it's still only got 90,000 mile 2002 mondeo diesel 90,000 mile z tech spec all the brushed aluminium stainless steel dash looks nice pre face lift as you'll tell by the circular fog lights i personally think they have a better dash because they've got the three knobs for your heating controls which are nice and easy to use over the ones with which don't have climate control but still use that stupid screen with a little bar you've got to move back and forth for hot and cold it's nice just to turn a knob hot and cold and have to press the button about 100 times to get it to go back and forwards uh so yeah really nice car it'll be fully mot'd it's got new good tires quite good tires all around i think the back ones are branded um good years or something it's lovely, really. I'll probably service it, MOT it. I'll get those two little patches sorted on the sills. But honestly, the other side of the sill is brand new. It's like new. Underneath, there's hardly any rot whatsoever for an O2 plate Mondeo, which will all be shown to you. Um, one of the front springs looks slightly... Oh, that's the other thing. Springs are a nightmare on these things. It's had two new back springs and a front new spring. The one on the left-hand side looks a little bit distorted. It's not broken. I may stick a new spring on, strut top bearing and drop link, just to make sure it's A-OK. -okay. Um, but if any of you guys are interested, I'm thinking about doing a raffle. Um, as in 39 numbers, which is the Thunderball. I'll pick a draw. I'm not getting the cart till after Christmas, so this will be like mid-January by the time I get it sorted. Um, 39 numbers, say £30 a ticket. I don't think it's bad crack, that is it. Getting a, uh, uh, a car with a full year's MOT, quite rare, low mileage diesel Mondeo for 30 quid. Of course, I've never done this before, so to cut the crap, there'll be no returns, no warranties implied or given. At the end of the day, you're getting a car for 30 quid, so I don't want no nonsense. Um, it's a private thing, nothing to do with a garage, no trade, nothing like that. As you know, this is a hobby, this is my channel. That's what I do, and I'm just offering it out to you guys. Who fancies a diesel Mondeo for potentially, if you win the right number, 30 quid? Um, obviously, I'll need to get all the money in by the raffle. I'll agree a date on a raffle once I've got all the money, but 30 quid, what are you going to buy for 30 quid these days? I just went to the soft play the other day, by the time I paid the two bends in, got a coffee in a, uh, a, a toasty, that was 30 quid. <laughs> and you can get a whole car for that. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, there'll be content coming on it. I just want to know. Leave your feedback below. I haven't done a short for a while. Keeping it under five minutes. Let us know what you think. Leave your comments. Anybody who's interested, please leave it. Like it. If you share it, I just hope I can get this done. Have a look on the Facebook, my Facebook page, Cardiff Garage Northeast. A lot of the info is already on there if you want to read through it. Or just simply send me a message and I'll copy and paste it onto the comments on YouTube. Catch you soon, guys. I see I got the little and the sleepier while I had two minutes peace.